Hello. I think I'm live in the group. Let me see. Yes, I'm now live. Uh, let me just go into the Earth Angels group in here. If you are jumping on with me, just say hello. There am I, there we are. Okay. Let's keep that live. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Julie. Hi, Hannah. I can, I've can. i got it up on my phone. Miriam, hello. So that I can see Babs is here. Hello. Hello. Bob, hello. How are we all doing? Nice. We'll just wait and get everyone. I see join us. Hopefully lots more people will join us. So I've just had a very stressful situation. I had to pick my daughter up and the traffic was horrendous with um, traffic jams, queues for these, these traffic lights. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, I literally got back five minutes ago. So as you can imagine where my stress levels were, they were right up here. Luckily, know some techniques. So just to shift that down, bring that down very quick. Happy birthday! Hannah, it's Hannah's birthday. Happy birthday, Hannah. Thank you for joining me on your birthday. Um, Amanda's here. Hello, Amanda. Oh, thank you, Miriam. I love my purple earrings. Uh, Michelle, hello. Yeah, we've got the birthday girl in the house. So um, thank you for joining us, Hannah, on your birthday. Bless you. So we just uh, give a chance, obviously, let's move on. Lisa, hello, Lisa. Yay. Cheryl, hello. I've managed to get my phone up this week so I can actually see when people join because I missed people last, last, uh, last time. So as I was just saying, I've had just a quite a stressful last hour, really. I had to pick my daughter up um, from her cousins. And uh, yeah, the traffic was literally traffic jams. You know, when you're like, oh, stress levels are starting to, to go up. So I was like, okay, just breathe, just calm. I've got home with five minutes to spare. So I'm here. So my hair's a bit, a bit mad, but I'm here. Yay. Hello, Louise. It's, um, it's lovely to have so many of you join me again. So I want to see how everyone how everyone is. How are, how are you doing? Um, how is your energy at right now? We've just had the Lionsgate portal last Thursday. How did everyone find that? It was a, a triple eight. Eight for the eighth. And obviously we're in a, an eight year, 2024. So it was pretty cool. Um, so is that a... That's right. Excellent. Yep. This is a really good uh, stress. I mean, I was just tapping and breathing just to calm my stress levels down. Um, it's something I had a had a chat with Michelle. And what she's saying is, we have a we have different meridians that run through our body, different energy pathways that run through. You may be very aware of this. This might be a little bit new to you. We have our chakras. We have seven main chakras in the body, and then lots of other minor chakras. And we have energy meridians that run through our body like streams. And we also have um, one of them is called the triple warmer. And when we and this, the triple warmer governs the fight or flight. So when we're stressed, guess what happens? Ah, triple warmers like danger, danger. Now, years ago, it was fine when when we, we have something that's very stressful um, that kicks in. It's the energy that we use to give birth. It's the energy that we use when we need to act fast. But in today's society and in today's world, just sitting in a traffic jam, knowing that the minutes are ticking away and I've got to be on here live, my stress levels are going, ooh. Um, and we get stressed by so many different things now, don't we? Watch the news. I don't watch television. Certainly not the news. Um, but any little thing can and can spike that, that reaction in us. So something that's really, really simple little technique, which I can share with you all now, is um, we have a triple one meridian which runs from our ring finger all the way up to our temple is you can just start massaging that little point in between your ring finger take some breaths and it just calms it down it's a bit magic so elizabeth welcome chrissy hiya it's been a long time i hope you're doing well carla hello deborah yay um it's good to see so many of you on here so thank you. How can 
can you talk about fasting how is it done and the benefits of it please fasting is really good um, because your body will go into a state of ketosis um i'm just checking sorry my phone's going off that there's someone at the front door it's my ex please bear with me in one moment Nothing like being live, is there? I've got get all hot and sweaty now. Um, <clears throat> let's shut that off so I can see the, the things that's coming through on here. Um, so fasting, I'll tell you who I would suggest that you watch, um, Michelle, is a guy called um, Dave Asprey. He's the father of biohacking. Um, I don't know if you have a Gaia subscription. I, I pay for a Gaia subscription. Um, amazing series on there, if any of you I've never heard of it. It's worth checking out. It's a bit like Netflix, but it's it's called Gaia. And you've got Joe Dispenza, who's amazing on there. there there's ancient civilizations. There's so much on there. But um, I've watched Dave Asprey's series, and then he actually has, has a whole episode on fasting. It's really good. There's lots of benefits. I'm not an expert um, in fasting. I, ha I do occasional. I haven't gone fasting for days. But, um, for example, I, I haven't eaten today. Um Apart from a mouthful of my chili before I jumped on here, um, so I always eat that after. But it, it's good. It body body goes into state of ketosis. So, but I'm not an expert. Hello, mum. Mum's watching. <laughs> uh, Monica's watching. Hi, mum. And Alison. Hello. Um, yeah, Babs has just shared. Dave Ashby does the bulletproof diet. Diet, and so I recommend that as well. Worth having a look at. So please, as I'm talking today, if you have any questions, type them in the chat. We've got some of our amazing admins uh, here with us today, <laughs> making chili too. Um, we've got Babs, we've got Amanda, we've got Louise. Um, I'm not sure if we've got any of the other admins. I know Erwin was going to try and watch, but I think he's out in nature. A lovely Erwin. Um, he's got a lovely page called Earth Love, and he just he's, he loves his walks in nature. So I'm not sure if he's watching, but so ah, <sighs> let's take a breath, shall we? I feel like I feel like <laughs> yo yo. Um, let's take it for breath. Monica, it's just taken me an hour to pick Angel up from your house. So I was just sharing how I was a little bit stressed arriving here just in time to get on here. So um, let's all just take a deep breath. I just invite you to, when we take a, a deep breath, it's going to calm my nervous system down. And my nervous system could probably do that right now as well. So I just invite you to breathe in deeply. You can just hold that breath for a moment and then exhale slowly. And feel like the energy just drain. Breathe in deeply. You can hold it for a moment and exhale slowly. And just take one more deep breath in. And exhale slowly. And you may all notice, I can feel my energy's calmed right down from just doing that. What it does, when you breathe deeply and slowly, we're, we're sending a really important message to our body. Driving there to get my daughter and back. I probably wasn't breathing because I was, oh my gosh, time, stress, stress levels are high. Um, and so just taking that time to just take some deep breaths, you're telling your body that you're safe because I certainly wasn't breathing deep and slow picking up my daughter tonight because I was thinking, oh my gosh, this traffic's going on forever, the traffic lights, stress, fight or flight, ah. So what it does is it just calms you down. So I just invite you to carry on doing that if you feel that that would really benefit you. And it's just, it's just deep breathing. And if you make the exhale a little bit longer than the inhale, we're sending a signal to our body. So what I'm currently doing with my body, that's been a bit stressed, is telling it that I'm safe. And I, I am safe. And we only breathe deeply and slowly when we're, we're safe. So what it's doing is it's sending a message now to my nervous system and hopefully to yours as well, that we're safe and we can relax. So what happens is our fight or flight will, will stop. So my triple warmer that would have been going mental, ah, I'm not gonna get back in time has now calmed right down because I'm safe. So just by doing that, it's just something so simple and yet we don't always appreciate the simplicity of things sometimes. The same as with tapping. 
I've done videos on tapping, you might have heard of EFT, where you, you tap different points of your body. Um, it's such an effective thing to just to help move through energy that gets stuck in your body. And it's also really effective for that triple woman meridian, which causes, which is connected to the fight or flight, because it, it can't resist that, it can't resist that. So it's just a little little tip and may help some of you. Edith, welcome. Shelley, yay, so lovely to see so, so many people of you on here. So how, how are you all? Um, I was thinking about what I'd like to sort of talk about uh, today. I used to, when I used to run the membership site, we, we used to have live calls. Um, we used to have to do it every two weeks actually because the, the clearings and that, we needed a bit of integration time. But I really wanna be here in this place to support you. So where, where you're at, what you're struggling with, so we can do it as a collective as a whole. Obviously, this is a, a group energy, which is amazing when we have a group energy. I know we're all in different places on our journey. We all know different things, have different skills. Um, so it's really just to come together to bring that collective energy together so that we can help and support each other and to raise the vibration. Because what do we love to do as Earth Angels? We, we love to help. So um it's wonderful to be in that place where we can be of service and help other people which which we love to do but also be able to receive as well so just allow yourself to be open to receive uh whatever whatever comes through today and whatever you get i do invite you to keep asking questions keep telling me if you're stuck with anything right now um any questions of answers um i'm happy to, to answer any questions about anything um and um and we'll do some clearing, we'll do a bit of a meditation. Yay, oh, we here, that lovely sunshine. Um, and uh, so please do ask. If I don't get round to it, one of the admins certainly will for you. So, obviously I've just shared with you how we all get stressed and how, I, me too, um, and, and just if some different ways that we can actually just calm down that response, which is those deep breathing, which is just, just rubbing here on the triple warmer spot really effective just to, to bring that down another thing is just to start at your temples and breathe and just bring it around your ears um and hang on to your shoulders and put a triple worm warm a smoothie for any of you that know donna eden and her work so so we just had the lionsgate portal on thursday 888 8 for the 8th of august and 2024 is a year um and eight years so that's really powerful i did post something in the group some of you may have seen that, some of you may not have. Um, we're, we're just coming out of that energy to today on, on the 12th. We've got lots going on astrologically, Mercury and retrogrades. So I'm like, kids, no internet while I'm on my life. Um, and um, what, what it can happen is we get all the activations, but it can also hit us a little bit. Some people can be finding that more tired, that if you know things come up. And, and that's the journey, isn't it, with, of life is that we feel amazing and then life happens and we, we sort of up and down and up and down and it's just really navigating that and learning to to know that we all go through this it's just life and to just to see who we are so how how is everybody is anyone picking up um did everyone enjoy lionsgate and the energy of that those of you that are sort of tuned into it um how are you doing now what are you struggling with now so now is the time, if you've got a question, now is the time to post your question. If you're struggling with something, now is the time to ask that so I can help you. So <clears throat> I'm just going to keep talking um, and, and just share a little bit about, and we're going to do a meditation uh, before we get to the end as well. So this, uh, this weekend I celebrated a dear friend of mine's 40th birthday, uh, went up to London on the train and um, had a wonderful time, met a couple of new people that are now members of this group that I was talking to and, um, and I just really sort of set the intention to be in a space of light and to sort of be in my heart and just to have a, a best time, enjoy time with my friends and, and, and you know having a, having a good time and I did, I had a lovely time. But the next day, I didn't really drink a lot. We had a bottomless brunch, which was really nice. I didn't really drink anything much after that. But the next day, as we all know, when we go out and have a drink and have a good time, you can get a bit of a hangover. Now, I wasn't so much hungover because I'd sobered up by the time I, I did come home. But I always like to check in my aura. And um, because when we drink, it actually makes holes in our aura. 
for those of you that aren't aware, I'm sure many of you are, aura is the, the layers around our, our physical body. We've got our physical body, then we have a etheric aura, we have our mental, emotional, astral. So we have different layers of our aura. And when we drink, it can actually make holes in them, um, which is partly why alcohol spirits. There's a whole story around that. So, and on Sunday, I felt right, you know, I didn't really feel hungover. But you know when you, you know, you all know when your energy's a little bit wonky. And when I checked in, I did indeed have holes in my aura. And um, even though I was in a ball of light, and that was my intention, it, it happens. And, um, and I also had some hooks in my energy. So those of you that aren't aware... A hook in your energy is when if you say you help someone, if you give healing to someone, and you're all healers, you're all earth angels, we all do this naturally. And what can happen is we can have someone that hooks into our, our energy because we've given them energy, we've like been that light. And it's all well and good when we're overflowing, but we're not always in that place. So, and then it, that can actually be a drain on our energy. So when we do the meditation, we will be um, clearing any hooks in our energy. I went to see a healer uh, many years ago and she was like, who do you know that had this condition? I was like, oh, I said, I, I gave healing to a girl about five years ago. That's, that's the only person I can think of. And she said to me, she's still t taking your energy. I was like, holy Moses, how, how can that be? So it really, it's really worth being aware of things like this, especially as we just love to give and share and, and help people because it can have a detrimental effect on ourself if we don't look after ourselves energetically. So let's have a little look. So Michelle's working through inner child pain and anxiety with depression. Yeah, when, when we connect with our inner child, I mean, some people... Um, it is a practice to, to learn to connect and I'm sure some of you have. Um, I did do an inner child series when I uh, run my membership site and uh, lots of different calls connected with the inner child and, and clearing stuff that was going there. But it's, it's really about having that relationship with, with our inner child um, and our inner teenager as well. And I always am aware when my inner child, I mean, the part of us, first of all, it's part of our identity, it's part of who makes up who we are. And our inner child, especially the first seven years of our life, we're like a sponge. We literally take on everything and we create beliefs about ourselves. And we all know what beliefs are and thoughts. But we have core beliefs or orientation beliefs. And these core beliefs, they cannot be changed. In fact, if we try and change them, we actually give them more power. So having that building that relationship with your inner child you can connect through meditation i very often when i work with clients one-to-one -one, i'll connect to my inner child i'll sort of send my little toddler in um because our inner child is scared our inner child can be terrified um and it's being able to acknowledge those different emotions because we think oh i don't think that about something but our inner child does so we, we it's just acknowledging parts of ourselves and nurturing and soothing that inner child to build that relationship with that so it's 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 a journey and when you have that relationship with your inner child it's a lifelong relationship it's not like oh my inner child's healed so it tick that off the list i personally believe it doesn't work like that because it's having that acknowledgement and that relationship with the different parts of ourselves and i think i I spoke on the, the first live that i done a couple of a weeks ago now about how, but even coming on here, the fears, nervous before I come on, even I was like, I'm committed. And then I still had that nervous. And if my, my inner child thinks I'm not good enough, you know, well, she has that belief. It's a core belief, which most of us have. You know, I need to be perfect, and I'm obviously not. And all, all these things, and if the power had been there, if I hadn't have been able to really acknowledge all of that, that's what would have won, and I wouldn't be here now. Now I'm like, okay, it's fair enough, I, I have all of that, and we all do. I acknowledge that. Um, you can release the emotions, which is, which is good. It's always worth letting go of emotions. But it's like, well, I'm doing it anyway, so my focus isn't on that. It's who I 
I'm choosing to be, it's choosing to live to my values. That makes me be here, not my limitations. And that's our shadow. You know, we hear about, you know, oh, ego's bad, ego's not bad. It just wants to keep us safe, but it is our, our shadow part of, our, of ourselves. It's that deep on subconscious stuff going on that's beneath the surface that we don't really want to look at. So um, I hope that's helpful with what I've just shared there. I do think sometimes when I talk, Oh, I know, and I think, I know sometimes when I talk, it, I just flow through and I may say words, I'm like, oh, that's a word I don't normally use because I'll just choose to be connected and let it flow. Just have a little quick, quick, a little look. So tips on that is that with the inner child is building, there's different meditations and stuff that you can work with to, to learn about that. There's lots online that you can check if you want my help. You can always have one-to-one -one sessions with me and I can absolutely support you with that. Um... Okay, dokey. So activated charcoal after have alcohol. Activated charcoal is excellent. What helps when you have a common cold to feel balanced again and spiritually we're not used to illnesses? Now, I I'm a great believer. <laughs> Louise Hay, if any of you know beloved Louise Hay, total earth angel who's in spirit. Um I always feel when I talk of people, I can feel their sort of energy come in a little bit. Louise Hay's got a brilliant book, um, Heal Your Life. And a cold, especially if it's a head cold, you got too much going on in your brain. There's too many things. So something like that, common cold, is to get it all out on paper. Do some journaling. Journaling is a really powerful, easy technique to do to really acknowledge what's going on. You can write down all your fears. You can, I really think it's needing to be honest with ourselves. But when you have a head cold, you've just got too much going on. If you got the stuffy nose with it, who or what got up your nose? Because that's what it is. Someone or something has got up your nose. Metaphorically, hence we have a blocked nose. When our nose is running, often we're crying for help or are we needing help? Um, so it really depends on your symptoms. I know whenever I work with anyone, we always look at the symptoms. I look at what emotions are, are trapped there and um, it's really beneficial i've done some amazing healing on my nan um, bless her heart my nan is 91 and um and she had a full one and she's had a lot of pain she had some metal uh metal strips in uh metal rods that's the word i was thinking of in her arm and they, i felt like it moves touching a nerve it's a pain so i did some healing with her my dear friend babs who's uh posting away on here as well and um and yeah and, and the pain went it's like we moved it back and then she, she, i think she likes me touching her because it's quite healing and soothing and uh, but i just check in have i got trapped energy here yes and then ask questions and then i release that and then pain can go very quickly i've had it happen so many times it's awesome so uh what else if the code so common cold to come back to you hannah birthday girl is you may have too much going on sometimes your body goes into the healing as well and feeling balanced again getting outside in nature feet on the ground taking some deep breaths is really powerful another technique that you can do when you're in is you can just tap on your cheekbones and this actually helps ground you as well just a little thing when you are outside um, but all illnesses is a dis ease there's a dis-ease in your body somewhere there's some kind of blockage in your body the energy is not flowing but our bodies are communicating with us because it's all this deep unsubconscious stuff that we're not aware of unless we dive into that a little bit and it can be scary that's why a lot of people um want to sort of go a bit deeper um so just to make you aware once again that obviously everything that i'm sharing here is, is going to be general i want it to help lots of people so um but if you want to go really deep on something obviously that offer is there if you wanted to to go deeper in that mm. so um so bab said yeah after when she goes to work or anywhere busy we haven't protected our energy we get hooks and we get energy drains and sort of people latch onto our energy i always like to use the analogy moths to a flame so when we're this big bright light it's we we, we can attract we can attract people and we can get hooks but we're going to do a meditation and we're going to shift all those for you and also just to remind you in the album so i don't know how i can actually pin this in the earth angel group if you click on photos and then you've got photos videos albums if you then click on albums 
there's loads of energy clearing videos that I done six, seven, eight years ago, nine years, ten years ago, some of them. There's the basics, how to ground, how to protect your energy. Uh, and I, I look at the videos, I feel blessed myself. Um, but they're, they're, they're still, they still help people, so that's why they're still there. There's emergency SOS videos. These are super short videos for different emotions. There's empowerment tutorials that teach you how to do some different things. So I do advise you to check that out. But there is also an energy maintenance one where I clear hooks in your energy. So it's something that you can go back to and, and use. Protecting your energy. There's lots of different things that we can do to protect our energy. Um, Archangel Michael, all our incarnated angels amongst us. Even if we're not an incarnate energy, you can call in um, Archangel Michael, who's a um, protector. And uh, you can imagine yourself in a, a force field for our star seeds, you know, like the Jedi. Um, imagine yourself in a force field. Old souls who think it's like, like Harry Potter in the invisibility cloak. We can also zip our energy up. I think I showed you this last time. But if, it, if you come back to your root and you literally imagine that you draw line up to under your chin you can imagine locking that and that will lock and this will protect all your front chakras and then you have the the governing channel which comes from the base of your spine up over your head to your top lip and that will once again strengthen your aura and give you a little bit more protection so it's come through um how i you know i've wondered how you manage that with your videos on youtube the clear ones how do this do it but you disconnect from so the only way I can do it's a really good question. It's a really good question, Shelley. So when I'm when I work, I feel like I'm working in multiple levels. So I can obviously I'm here with you present, fully in my energy, fully here present. But I can also be with someone and I can if I imagine someone, especially if they need healing, I can actually see myself standing there with them, even though I'm fully here. The only way I can describe it is that it's multi levels. The intention is to, there is no such thing technically as time. I know it's still a concept to get your head around. Um, but it, I, I work on so many quantum different energetic levels, I, I don't even understand it. I just know it works. And I know when I set the intention, I can be with every single one of you in spirit and still remain sovereign in my energy here because we're talking my higher self, we're talking on a different level. Um, but, um, and believe me, Shelley, all you, I've actually had to watch some of my videos that I created that are in this, this group now, I've, I've watched them in the past because there has been times I'm like, oh, you know, we have those times. I do too. Sometimes, not so much now, but we're part of it. It's being human, isn't it? So it's multidimensional. That's the best answer to that. Um, that is when... Wicked when people try to vampire you, but you can clear it and stop them. We are stronger than we think. Yes, Alison, we are. And I'd also add that, as Jesus said, forgive them. They know not what they've done. There are so many people on this planet that have forgotten their essence, their soul, who they truly are. We, 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 we have spiritual amnesia. You know, before we're born, yeah, let's go to earth. Or, okay, I'll come to earth sort of thing. A lot of reluctant ones, the old souls among us. And then we have spiritual amnesia. There are some people that can remember things as children, um, and there are some people that come in conscious, but more often than not, we, we forget. And then we create these core beliefs, how we live our life, like I'm not good enough, or I need to be perfect, or I'm powerless, etc. And it's that process of remembering, isn't it? That's why people love readings, um, and you know, Akashic record readings or, or readings about themselves or learning about themselves because it's that path of rediscovering who that who we are. And when some people get sort of stuck in the lower vibrations with the, the matrix, have, have you all seen the matrix, Keanu Reeves? Um, bloody brilliant, we're in the matrix, even Facebook, in a way, it's part of it. And our beliefs and our limitations, you know, our feelings and our thoughts and it's, it's the matrix energy. The heart space is the portal to to connect to that who we truly are in that higher realm. But a lot of people don't know this. We're all taught different things growing up. And sometimes people they they, they don't know what else, so they it's moths to a flame. So 
I feel like sometimes people aren't aware. I do think sometimes people are aware, though, saying that. Some people are just wicked. However, I think that's because they have so lost themselves from their connection to source that they don't know any different. So I hope that answers that. Um, and a lot of people don't realise they're doing it right, Louise? Never a quick fix. Thanks for sharing about the inner child. I do believe in acknowledging the feelings or thoughts my inner child had. Put wings around her and say, I love you and we're safe. Yes, started this method this morning. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a really good thing to continue doing that, Michelle. Um, Louise Hayes helped me with so many ailments. What behind them? Yeah, I always pull out my Louise. I have you can hear myself. Yes, attachments on other people. Is that from other people, Bob? We do get attachments. We all have hooks, everyone. We have, um, sorry, cords. We have cords with people. Sometimes, I know when I've worked with some clients and they've, they've got a cord with someone and, and you can cut the cord but it'll reconnect for whatever reason. You, you can literally hold so much light that you can send that down the cord. I know I've done that with a couple of people. Hello, Shauna, who's just joined us. Um, so, let's keep going through these questions here. I've felt, uh, felt your energy quite a few times over the years, whether you were consciously aware of it or not. I remember washing up once and you came to mind and I felt your soul working on me. <laughs> Strange to describe. I actually had someone say to me once that they were on holiday and they started to get stressed and like started to panic and I just started talking to them. The head because you just started talking to me when I'm here. Are you okay? And I was like, oh my God, Sarah, you know, and I spoke to her and then she calmed down. And I, that's why I'm in spirit coaching because I, I want to be with people in spirit. Sandy, our lovely Sandy, I don't think Sandy's on today, um, I haven't seen her, her name, she, um, she shared uh, something that I shared with her the other day, which was about our starseed archetypes, it's really interesting, um, and you do a little quiz and then it will tell you what star, there's 12 star families, and I mean I know a lot about this from different readings and different things that I've done over the year, and none of us fit into boxes, okay, we're all unique and awesome. And one of the things is I, I come out as a void walker. And a void walker um, has one foot in the physical, one foot in the spiritual. And that's totally how I feel. Um, not afraid of the death process. Totally not. I've had lots of people with healing with that grief. Um, people passing over. And also the ego death, even though it's never really a death. It's more like the ego taming, maybe. Um, so if you see that, um, I was going to wait till I do the star people masterclass to share that but it's there and obviously we'll share that again if you're interested to just have a check in and see to see what star family you could be from so I'm from the and and get this as well there's different families and I'm from the diviner family as well which I think is hilarious that's my dad's David fine which I think I shared with you last week as well so have we got any more questions any help that anyone needs because if not we can go into a bit of a meditation so any more questions, any more things that you'd like to share? Time is like Jeremy, Jeremy in the good place. I haven't seen that, Bob. I haven't seen that. Very useful on lots of different topics. Yeah, these are about the videos. Babs and Louise are just sharing about the, the videos that are in the albums. So it's definitely well worth having a look in there. There's some SOS ones in there which can help you. Trudy's joined us. Welcome to um uh trudy so gutted oh carla we gutted you see but you can catch the replay we're going to do a little uh we'll do a little meditation shall we just clear those hooks shall we has anyone else got any hooks another question to ask you that once again these are in the tutorials in the albums in the group but you have to click on photos to get to the albums for some reason i will see if we can we can maybe post that maybe in the featured i don't know if that would work um is how to actually even check if you have something going on in your energy so i love the sway you you may see me here if you oh she keeps swaying around like this um and that's because um I, that's how i connect into my energy of my body and i will ask a question if i say yes 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 i'm going to go forward um and if i say no i'm going to go backwards my sway is quite strong forward and backwards because i've been doing it for years and i practice it and i've taught everyone that was in in the 
in the Earth Angel Sanctuary or Soul Circle, the, the membership site I used to run, how to do this. Because I think it's really important that we, I don't just want to be a healer, come to me for healing and then off you go. It's about empowering you to, to know everything I can do, you can do too, to a degree. Because we're all individual and you're unique. And, um, and something like this is just very powerful. So uh, one of the things that you can do is, is to ask a question. You want to make sure, yay, we've got a lovely Alison watching. Hi, Alison. Um, one of the things that you want to do is you want to make sure you're in your body. So quite often we're not in our body. I don't know if a lot of people live in their head, and I've certainly been guilty of this myself in the past. And we want to really get into our body. That's why having those deep breaths, we're coming into the body. Hand on the heart space. Folks in here, we're bringing our energy and tension into the body. And uh, and when we're in that, because otherwise we can sway. From, the learning how to sway is the same as like muscle testing with your fingers or using a dowsing crystal. It takes practice. It takes practice. And a lot of people learn how to sway and they're like, yay. But the problem is our ego gets involved. And there's about times I've asked questions and I'm going, yes. And it's a yes, it's a yes. And it's not a yes, it's my ego, but I'm, I'm not recognising that. So it does take a little bit of practice, but it's a really good way. But you haven't got to worry about this if you don't know how to do any of this or not, because I've got the admins on here and they will let me know if we've got anything going on that we need to shift if I don't pick up on it myself, all right? So you're in a nice supportive energy here. So it's so lovely to see. It's like, yay, hi everybody. It's awesome, it's awesome. So I'm going to ask one more time, do we have any questions? Anybody would like any help with anything? Michelle, if you're still with us, I know you're cooking your chilli, the same as me. Let me know, because I know you did post something in the group chat. We have a group chat. I don't know how that created, but we have a group chat and it's still going. So we will um, just let me know if you're still on here, Michelle and uh because i want to check in with that i think it was sank along the times of something not quite nice hanging around so just let me know if you're there jane is watching hello jane welcome so i don't know if michelle is still here with us or maybe she can't type we're going to go into a little bit of a meditation should we have a little bit of a shift of our energy yeah because i think the more we get in our energy the more we be in our power the more that ripple effect when we're overflowing ourselves, it has that ripple effect and we'll bring in some healing shall we so if you know anyone in your lives and that need healing we're going to set that intention for that as well um we've got a lot of riots going on in the uk at the moment and i know there's a lot going on full stop all over the place so um jane's gonna have a watch tomorrow awesome and um obviously there's a lot going on in the world full stop a lot of fear, a lot of things going on. So we're going to get ourselves into a really nice energy place. Um, and then we're just going to send out some healing. How does that sound? Lorraine, welcome. You've just joined us. Yay. Okie dokie. Um, and just before I carry on, um, obviously I'm going to show up here each and every week, every Monday. I say every Monday, apart from in a couple of weeks because I'm away on holiday. But I might just jump on anyway. When I'm on holiday, I'll have to see how that goes. If not, I'll send you a little video, send you all some love. Um, so we every Monday, I'm going to be showing up here. We're going to have some masterclasses coming up soon. I'm going to do a masterclass on the four different core realms. There's everything in between. I like to think of these realms as the primary colours. When we think of the colour palette, you've got the primary colours, and then you've got every colour in between. It's a little bit like Earth Angels. Um, we have got some distinctive realms, incarnated angels, incarnated elementals, the old souls and wild ones, and then we've got the star people, star seeds. I think we all got a little bit of that in us anyway, but sometimes it's stronger. So I'm going to do a masterclass on those four um, and the common problems that we have and do some work and some shifting around them. So I'm excited about them. They will probably be starting in September. Um, I like the habit of just jumping in head first, but I want to make sure I'm prepared. Um, on that call and i'll probably be doing that on zoom as well i will share the link i'll set up the event for for next monday after this um but that will be coming up soon um and but i'm going to be here every monday every week showing up i'm going to be clearing energy we're doing meditations if you've got a problem if 
So if you've got a problem and you don't know who to call, jump on the live and ask me. Because even if I don't know the answer, someone else will know the answer um, and we can do some work about it, okay? And if you love what I share and you're like, oh my gosh, this helped me so much, you can buy me a coffee if you would like to. It's something that I, I see someone and I thought, how lovely, because sometimes people go, how, what can I do for you, Sarah? And I'll just pass it on. Um, but if you'd like to buy me a coffee, uh, Babs will share the link in the group. If you don't want to click it from Facebook, because I know there's a lot of people that aren't on Facebook when I emailed my list and we're not on social media anymore. Um, it is on my, I, I'm trying to put these videos on YouTube so it, it, I can reach those people and they can still listen. Um, but the link is on there. But Babs will post that in if you'd like to buy me a coffee, if you've received benefit or anything that I do. Totally optional though. Okay. Let's go into a little meditation. Unless we have any more questions, if you do, keep typing those in. Okay, so I do just invite all of you to just start taking some deeper breaths. Breathing in through the nose. And then a nice slow exhale. Once again, we just calming our energy down here by doing this nice deep breath in and relax on that exhale and just breathing calm breathing in and relax on that exhale continue breathing in like that nice deep breath in but I invite you to place your hands over your heart and just relax your body on that exhale and just set the intention to open your heart breathing in and relax on that exhale we're letting your body know that you're very safe that it's safe to come into your energy that we connect it with our heart allowing that heart space to open and with your eyes closed just see if you can just sense that energy of your heart you may feel the beat of your heart so if you can sense that light then and this could be like the flicker of a flame it could be like a beautiful orb in your heart you may not see anything trust me there's a light there so just close your eyes see if you what you can see sense and if you can't see or sense anything or feel anything just imagine imagine that there's a light there and as you continue to breathe deeply and slowly, I want to invite you to expand this light to fill your chest. Allowing that to fill your chest and just relax on the exhale. Just let everything go. Blow away those thoughts that might be popping in. Blow them away. Breathing in. And just imagine that heart energy expanding as with every breath. And if you imagine that energy is expanding, filling your chest, flowing down your arms into your hands, flowing down your legs into your feet, flowing up into your head. You may feel that. You may feel more in your body. And just keep breathing like that, deep and slow. I just want you to expand. Some of you are not quite there, yet, so we're just going to keep, we're going to keep watching. Hope you enjoy the replay tomorrow, Jane. Thanks for joining us. Just keep breathing, allowing that energy, that light to expand within your body. And it's going to start to expand out beyond your body as well. Just keep breathing. If you're already in that light and you're in this big, beautiful energy of light, let's just connect our hearts with everyone here today with us and everyone that's going to listen to this replay as well. Okay? just keep breathing and just allow that to expand just going to keep going and just keep breathing and I, it reminds me of the one flew over the cuckoo's nest i don't know if any of you have ever seen that film or read that book i read it and watched it years ago there's this big chief in there um called chief an indian seven foot tall and something happens at the end and in the book it's described that here I am this seven foot giant and I'm this tiny little person inside and in that moment I grew and this is a brilliant little thing 
to do that with your heart is when you go boom i'm in my body we're all there i can feel that we're all there it feels like so we're just going to expand that light so with your eyes closed keeping that breath and just see that light and just notice the light that is you radiating from you as we connect fully with our heart and this feeling all that love for our beautiful planet and um, gaia and just send that love down so we're just going to imagine as we overflow now we're going to send that love down into the earth we're going to go down we'll have an earth star chakra is going through that and you can imagine it as roots or cords are just going down deep into the heart of gaia let's just ask i'm going to call your guides and angels dragons close as well for everybody so that we have that everyone's being overseen and this allow this energy going into the earth to can we anchor us into the highest tie line please for everyone Going down like big roots, down, down, down. And you may feel that. You may feel that, that grounding energy pulling down. So as we take a breath now, I want you to imagine that you're going to just breathe in through the earth. You're going to breathe up your legs, up your body, to the crown. So breathing in that earth's energy. And you may well see the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo. But as you, as you breathe up through those chakras, you may see those those rainbow colors and just breathe like that feeling your energy nice expanded your heart nice and open and that energy is going to come and that's going to flow and i also want you to imagine now i'll see or so let's imagine a big bright light above your head is that earth uh, a soul star chakra and it's like a vortex of light that's coming down that connects us to everything we all have a cord with spirit um even when we think there's no one there they can't hear me it's still there so i just want you to imagine that you can see sense or feel that or imagine that if you can't if you don't get nothing don't worry either just keep breathing and setting your intention to follow along and allowing that light to come in open that for people and allowing that to flow 100%. Let's open that max we can for everyone. And can we ask that to flow, please? And allowing that light to flow over us, to flow through us. Awesome. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to ask now any hooks that you have in your energy, if there is any hooks in your energy. If you're a swear like me, you may well sway forward. Um, you might just feel, you might suddenly feel, oh, I feel a little bit of tension in my body. You might not feel nothing, don't worry about it. Uh, let's just ask, we're just going to connect with all of your higher selves. Just give me permission in your mind to connect with all of you, whether you're live today or listening. Okay, and let's just uh, acknowledge all of these hooks in your energy. And let's just dissolve all of those hooks now, please. I'm going to remove them out of your energy system. What I like to do is, anywhere anyone's hooked into me, is I like to just go connect them up there let's release and dissolve all hooks in everybody's energy system now please uh, okay this let's call in this lifetime parallel lifetimes please and any past lifetimes okay anything that they're still hanging around hooks from past like this treat those please Okay, whatever is hidden there. Any hidden hooks? Just release those, please. Just keep breathing. Okay, I can feel a lot of movement. There is something. We've got a little bit stuck here for someone. I'm not sure if it's for someone live with us today or if it's someone that's going to listen to this in the future. But there's, there's something stuck here. Okay. No, it's not who I am. It's not resistance to letting this go. Okay. It's not connected to a cord. It's a hook in someone. Okay. It's not fulfilling a need. Why is this not releasing? Okay, so everyone just can we just tune into um, whoever this is 
could be more on one of you i can certainly feel this a lot of you feel nice and clear so just keep shining your light and allowing that to reach everybody else on the replay um listen to the recording and just rippling that energy of love out let me just zone into this person that's got something stuck what is going on um something maybe a little bit darker okay super conscious can we please identify whatever it is that's holding this energy hook um who treat this please can we release and dissolve um any entity that we've got there any soul attachment we've got there this spirit going on there. I think this life plus life parallel lifetimes. Hmm. Okay. 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 We'll treat that, please. Unravel that now. Return to sender. Okay, breathing that, just remember that light that's flooding in, surround you, just keep breathing in that light from Source, that light from Gaia. We've got all our angels, guides around us, dragons, sending masters, they're all here. And just tune into this energy. Very, okay, that feels good. Oh, whoever, whoever that was, you may well feel that. Let me know if that is you. Um, it felt like... Um, not really 100 sure but it didn't want to let go it's gone now it's clear now i felt like it's a bit witchy potentially past life time but it felt like it was like a bit of a spelly witchy sort of thing going on in someone's energy that was draining them does anyone have any of these any hidden any hidden hooks? No. Nice and clear. Feels nice and clear now. There's still some stuff hanging around her. I feel energy in right shoulder blade and right breast goes right through me. How's that feeling now, Shelley? I know you've put that only a, a minute ago on here. Um, <clears throat> it feels clear. Let me just. No, I don't feel we've got any hooks. It feels nice and clear on the hooks level. Uh, so let's just uh, identify any energy attacks that anyone's got in their energy as well. From this life, past life, parallel lifetimes. Just breathing. You may feel this in your body. Energy attacks is anything that's been projected on you, um, even spoken about you. And let's just treat that, please. Can we just dissolve that in everyone's energy? Mind, body, and energy now. This life, past life, parallel lifetimes, please. Release and dissolve that now. Yeah, that feels nice and clear. There's still a bit of a dodgy energy. Is anyone feeling that? Um, felt a release. That's good, Shelley. That's good. There's, um, I mean, we can have all kinds of stuff going on. I did actually do a, a course a few years ago. Healer, heal thyself. Um, past lifetimes and all of that jazz I mean, you can have a lot going on I may well rerun that course at some point um, because we can have a lot of stuff that gets stuck Chrissy, yeah so how are you all feeling is anyone feeling like there's anything still stuck in their energy there is something still going on I can sense it don't worry I'm not going to be coming off here until that is gone We've got no hooks, we've got no things, okay. Okay. I feel like we've got some um we've got some spirits hanging around us. Okay. We got friend yeah, we've got some friendly spirits. So if any of you have anyone spirit in spirit, it's friendly, we we feel like um we've got people maybe just coming in as we've opened that up to uh, allow people in. So there's a lot of love flowing. And people in spirit but there's something else isn't there yeah i can, I can sense it okay my okay super conscious commanded whatever this darker energy is whoever it may be with either live with me now or listening to the recording in the future identify show yourself 
and release and dissolve anything back to the light now please Okay, dragons, angels, guardians, can we just step in close, please, as well, and just allow that transition of anything that is stuck, any spirits, wayward spirits, spirits that are stuck with anyone, mischievous spirits, evil, darker spirits, anything that we've got there. Let's just escort all of them back to the light, please. Anyone that should not be hanging about. Okay. I feel it's clear now. I just want to check in. Is it something, yeah, something hidden? That feels gone to me. Um, just check in. Just check in and see what you feel. I'm not feeling that we've got anything. There's a deep rumbling sound just then. Oh, that's interesting, Shelley. And yeah, I just check a uh, second what Shelley said there. Heather, don't apologise. Just feel what you feel. Okay, do you still feel, do you still feel that anger, Heather, or is that moved through you? Okay. Feels clear. feels like just see if you're feeling on this when I tune into the collective energy now of everyone here and listen to the replay I know it's crazy but it's it feels nice and clear but the way I would describe it is there's eyes watching I resonate that's good however it's gone now energy there's nothing attached to any of us but there's eyes watching. Does anyone else resonate with that? It's not coming close. It knows it's cl close. It's gone. That's what I'm feeling. It's at a safe distance. That's a good way to describe it. Hmm. Okay. So we're going to leave that there because we're going to deal with that in a curious energy. It could well be. There's nothing sinister that I feel at all anymore. There was something a bit wonky, shall we say. Yeah, that's gone. That's gone. If you come, if you're ever struggling with stuff like that, listen to one of these lives, replays, or get on live, or get a one to one. Dealt with so many things over the years. It's unreal um, and can be a nuisance sometimes. Until we know how to deal with them. Okie dokie. So, once again, get your hand on your heart. Let's take some breaths. Feel that connection with Gaia. Feel that connection with Source. Feel your angels and guides around you. Dragons. We will have a guardian dragon. I can feel them. Ascended masters. Okay, so, and feel that waterfall. And let's just, some can we repair everybody's aura, please? Any holes, tears, cracks, rips, anything in anyone's aura, any layer of aura. Can you just allow that all to be whole, please, for everyone? Nice deep breath in. Nice. And let's just call all of our energy back as well now. So, allowing that light, so all of your auras, if there's any holes, tears, Anything going on? We just want to make them whole, please. This stuff us up our lifetimes for everyone now. Yep. Okay. And let's call all your energy back as well. Because sometimes we're not all here. We can fly off out for different reasons. Um, sometimes none of us are uh, not even ever fully here. So let's just call your energy back. So remember, we've, we're in our heart space. We're connected. We're connected to Gaia. We're connected to Source. We're connected to who we truly are. We've got this big beautiful sphere of energy around all of us hearts are connected so you're safe you're in a very safe energy right now let's call all of your energy back so just take a nice breath command all energy back all uh, all soul shards fragments of anybody wherever they may be wherever they may be stuck loosen and bring all of those back now please to everybody back to their rightful owner 
we take some nice deep breaths let's call it all back whether they've been taken stolen whatever that may be you've given away let's call them all back now please through this sphere of light calling it back right here so i see that flying in Awesome. So they stay in our hearts and let's just allow our hearts to just really feel that love. Feel that love that is there for you from Gaia, from Source, from all your angels and guides, from, from everyone here. Just feel that love and allow yourself to receive that. And allow that to, to fill you and allow that heart to overflow. And allow the blood that's flowing through your body to be of love. See and imagine that love is flowing all throughout your body. Allowing yourself to glow, allowing yourself to shine, allowing yourself to be sovereign in your energy and your essence. And we're going to expand that even more. We're going to shine so freaking brightly. So just breathing now some nice deep breaths. And allowing that light to really shine out and that love to flow out as we feel overflow allow that to flow out so bring to mind people that you love bring to mind people that you know that need healing bring to mind situations in the world in your town in your country and allow that love to ripple let's call in the energy of peace that frequency of peace is called it into everyone's heart and minds. Let's ground that in and allow that to ripple. You can see people that you love and imagine they're in a big, beautiful bubble of love. Allow that to flow out, to go exactly where it needs to go. As you stay connected and in your power. And we'll just stay here for a moment. So just keep breathing. If you put a big smile on your face as well. You're just activating some of your radiant circuits, some of your meridians. And come into that place of gratitude as well and appreciation if you can. One, for how magnificent you are, okay, how amazing you are. And, and to feel like this now and feel connected to yourself and to everybody and, and why you're here. And allow us just to feel that appreciation and our gratitude that we can be of service and just allow our light to shine so freaking bright. It, it, it just radiates all over the world and out into the cosmos you can use a peace symbol in reiki by the way okay get using that get using that bob and i do invite you when i do this when i do these lives some of you are amazing well you're all amazing all of us are amazing some of you have skills some of you have worked with me for a long time some of you have been on your own journeys and know lots of different things you know reiki you know different things if you want to bring them into the mix because we're, we're setting the intention to to, to be our higher self, I, I stand here as a catalyst to help you remember who the fuck you are, how powerful you are, how amazing you are, how we're on this planet for a reason. And a lot of us are scared because of stuff that's happened in this life or past lifetimes and stuff. But when you're here, if you feel that inspired, bring that in. Bring that in. Yeah, add into the collective. It, it, it gives us all that... You know, we're participating, we're being involved in this. We're not just sitting there either. We're, we're part of this movement, of this energy, this love. So 100% bring that in. She was just about to start tired, just calling laughter, yeah. And, and allow yourself to, to smile and, and to breathe in that essence of joy. Actually just breathing in joy right now. The energy of joy. You can feel it. The energy of love. 
the energy of peace and can I end? And that holding that space, that light, that healing energy and allowing that to ripple, to ripple over the planet. We're full, we overflow, we send that out. Beautiful. Okay. So I invite you to stay in this energy as long as you can. Um, if you need to get off, you can go because I'm going to talk a little bit before I, I end the live. If you just want to stay in this beautiful energy, just stay in that for as long as you can. Just allow that to ripple out. You may um, do drink lots of water. I've got the water with me, me unicorns in my glass here. Drink lots of water because some of you have had quite a big clearing with shifting out what we've done there. And sometimes our energy needs time to assimilate, to integrate this. So I invite you to stay in this energy. Listen to this replay if, if you'd like to as well. It's always beneficial. Um, stay in this energy, stay in this, this frequency, allow that to integrate, rest if you need to, drink lots of water, it will really help with that. Every week I want to get us into this place where we're filled with, with light, with love, we're rippling that out. But I also want to be here to support you, so I do always invite questions and all of that. You're welcome, Chrissy. Thanks for joining. And if any of you have loved this and you want to buy me a coffee, the link is in the chat. It's also one of the, the featured if you'd like to, so it's totally up to you. Um, if you remember, remind myself to, to remember to say that it's just an it's just a nice uh, just a nice way, nice little thing. I thought it's really lovely. And just feel feel that thank you for the love let's allow this to integrate with everyone ground that in for everyone can you feel the energy upstairs those of you that are connected it's literally like it just feels there's so much energy has come together and, it, and it's just like oh we're so proud of you guys it's just connecting to who we really are remembering who we really are that essence of us it's hard work being a human i can attest myself we all can challenges these traumas we go through the things that get stuck, the stuff that calms up if you do need any one-to-one -one support please reach out different ways that i can support you and help you um i know not everyone's in a position to um have sessions or to to do that i get that I've always been about I want to help you no matter what so that's why I'm here every week so get on these lives watch the replays get in the albums listen to stuff in there it will help um, and um, I hope you've enjoyed today thank you for being with me we're 8 12 that's good that's good sometimes I can go for two hours quite easily so I am going to wrap it up today the circle so I thank you all for staying with me for this long for being part of this I hope you're feeling wonderfully light and refreshed and feeling good and whatever is hanging around is feel so clear and good so enjoy this energy have a wonderful week i will be back in here live next monday i hope you can join me i will set up an event i can only add so many people it's really uh, frustrating you are all invited invite your friends um, i think you can invite people to the event jump on but i will be here every monday for you um, and, um, and thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for listening, for playing along. Thank you for the love. Um, uh, I appreciate all of you, and uh, I look forward to connecting with you more and, and doing this work. Uh, and I feel like you know, when we heal ourselves, we can heal other people. When we do that work on ourselves, we can do it even more for other people. It's very easy just to go, oh, I want to save the world and help everyone because we all had that calling. We all just want to help. But you must do the first, the most important person, and that's you. That's you. Okay. 
So thank you all. Um, appreciation, love and appreciation to all of you for the admins that have been helping me um, and for sharing as well. And for all of you just for being here, adding your light, adding your energy to the mix. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you next week if you can join me. Um, enjoy the replay. I hope you've enjoyed this if you're listening to the replay. So until then, my friends, I am with you in spirit if you need me. Um, and I'm sending you all my love. Bye now.